Last week, the Director of Public Prosecutions and the Metropolitan Police Service made a joint statement that they wouldn't charge any named individuals in the Security Service and Secret Intelligence Service in relation to the investigations in Operations Hinton and Iden. However, they also announced that allegations made in two specific cases concerning the alleged rendition of named individuals to Libya and their alleged ill treatment uh, there were so serious that it was in the public interest of them to be investigated now rather than at the conclusion of the Gibson detainee inquiry. I made a written ministerial statement on Monday this week explaining that the government was considering the implications for the detainee inquiry of these new police investigations. The government will continue to cooperate fully with the police and the Crown Prosecution Service in their investigations and we remain committed to drawing a line under these issues. However, these further police investigations into the Libyan allegations may take some considerable time to conclude. The government fully intends to hold a judge-led inquiry into these issues once it is possible to do so and all related police investigations have been concluded. But there now appears no prospect of the Gibson inquiry being able to start in the foreseeable future. So following consultation with Sir Peter Gibson, the chair of the inquiry, we've decided to bring the work of his inquiry to a conclusion. 